All right, so let me talk about the algorithm now. So there's a cool story behind this. Um, so this is in 2013, so about two years after I founded Coding Dojo. And every month I would have new batch of students that would come in to learn. And I, you know, every month I tried to improve the curriculum to find out how I can teach better, how I can accelerate people's learning, because my goal was in, in three to four months to get people who never knew how to code and in three to four months get them to be at a level where companies would want to hire them. That's, that's it's a tall order and it's, it's not an easy thing to do. So I've been experimenting on that for years now, but you know, back in 2013, you know, it's been about two years since I found the Coding Dojo. I was down in Bellevue, Washington, our second campus. And I remember uh, taking some students who were just really, really, really struggling with the algorithm. And I was trying to find how can I get them to think like a computer faster, right? Instead of students getting to that point in three weeks, if I got them there in a week, you can imagine how much more I can do in the remaining time of their school to get them to level up. And you know, some of the students, not all of them wanted to be developers, some wanted to be a better entrepreneur, better project manager, uh, and so forth. But anyway, you know, it was very heavily on my mind to find out how can I accelerate someone's learning. And I did tell you for me to get that aha moment where my brain was rewired, where I could think like a computer. It took me months. It took me months. And if you talk to a lot of people who are studying computer science, uh, they would tell you that it takes time. It takes months before your brain is rewired and you start thinking like a computer. So anyway, I was struggling on that and trying to get there. And I was able to get majority of people there in three weeks. But there were a few group of students who just really, really struggled. So I took them to the whiteboard every day, had them do algorithm day after day. I would time it and say, go do it again, do it again, do it again, and see if repetition helped. Uh, and it was helping, but not really at the, at the speed that I wanted. And then this idea all of a sudden just popped out um, or popped into my head. I said, Michael, what if instead of you having them do the algorithm, you write a bunch of codes on the whiteboard, and then you have them predict what the code is going to do. And I thought, okay, that's interesting. Let me try that. And that changed everything. Um, those students were really struggling. Within a few days, they got it. And so the next class, next month when the class started, I tried that. And what usually took three weeks for people to really master, they got it within a day. So I did that a few times and then I made an, I made an app. And now I have um, everyone do it before they come to Coding Dojo. And it's a free app, so we're going to use it too. And um, the, it basically mimics what I had the students do at the whiteboard. I write a bunch of codes and then say, what do you think this is going to do? And you need, you just, if you understand certain things, you will be able to predict. And in that process, you will understand uh, the core building blocks of computer programming, which in the next video, I'll explain a little bit more about. So the algorithm app, um, I'll give a link below. It's free. Use it. You may get some emails from Coding Dojo. Okay, don't worry about those. Just use the app to learn. There are 12 levels, and I've designed every single one of them. And that is going to get you to understand some of the basics of programming faster than I think anything else you've tried. Uh, and it will be fun. Um, so go ahead and give that a try. And uh, also watch the video right after, uh, right after this too.